Hello! In this video or podcast, I want to share with you um, some ideas of ways you can use the app Periscope and how to get more followers on it. It's really just five ideas I had uh, which can help you, benefit you, um, as well as a really cool nifty trick I discovered which I want to share what I will reveal to you at the very end of this presentation. Now, before I get started, uh, you'll notice there's a link in the description. It's called trustthelink.com, and if you click on it, you will discover what I truly believe to be the number one tip to making money online, which can be positive because job security doesn't exist like it used to be, I think. All right, now one of the classic ways to get followers on Periscope, um, which you might already know, is to uh, follow people in your niche. It does work with Twitter, it works, okay? Um, and some of those people will follow you back. Now, you, what you can do is you can find leaders in your industry, whatever niche you're in. Maybe you're in the make money niche like me, or maybe you're doing something else, find leaders. And you can follow people who follow them. The more targeted you get, the better, and some of them will follow you back, okay? That's one way to get followers, okay? You might already know that. Um, now, just like with any social media platform out there, there is a social currency out there, which I want to talk about. Um, so if you give hearts, if you give feedback, if you comment on other people's stuff, they could probably do the same to you. They're more likely to do that. Um, not guaranteed. Of course, there's this internet marketer called Gary V. You probably know of him. He's very successful. He has a whole formula. He wrote a book about it, which is give, 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 then ask. Uh, me, <laughs> not that way. I'm, I'm like, my formula is give, then ask. If I, Give, give, ask. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. <laughs> I was just thinking about that. Um, all right. Now, one way which I want to talk about, which won't really give you more followers, but it's a good thing to do, is to follow people that are following you. Just kind of a nice thing to do. The more likely to stick around. Um, you can do this while you're doing a live broadcast, but if you do it too much, then it's going to just screw everything up. Won't be a good experience. Um, so you might be better off just waiting until it's done, follow right after you do a live broadcast, those people. Um, and you can also follow your replay views, viewers as well. Uh, the replay is uh, deactivated after 24 hours uh, to know. So maybe a good tip would be after 20 hours, you, if you do this, this broadcast, uh, you can follow as many as your replay viewers as you can. So that's another tip for you could do. They can help you, okay? Um, another great idea, uh, which I really can't help asking, I can't help mentioning, <laughs> okay, and you probably already know this, is to ask for followers. Yeah, who, who ever thought about that, right? You probably already know that. Uh, and basically, you want to ask, you know, maybe during your presentation or maybe, you know, towards the end, you know, if you got value from this, uh, please uh, follow me to get more, uh, you know, updates. And... You know, I like the idea of really kind of uh, explaining how people can follow you. Uh, you know, you just walk them right through it and make it just, I call it dummy proofing it. But uh, yeah, you can follow me by hitting the little follow button. You will notify you of my next live broadcast. Say something like that. That's an idea. Uh, okay. And another really cool tip, which I was kind of thinking about this too, is uh, when you get near the end of your show, your show, uh, you can hint at what's coming up next. Uh, not a bad idea, right? You can kind of steal what they've been doing on TV for a long, long period of time. It gives them a reason to come back to you. Uh, okay, so there's an idea. Uh, I think I want tip number three. I lost count. <laughs> okay, anyways. But uh, another great idea is uh, to get more followers is, use, is to use the embedded button, okay? I'm not sure if you're aware of this. But you can find that periscope.tv slash embedded. I include a link below. Uh, but the blue button is when you're not live and red is when you do go live. And you can put this little icon button thing on your website. You can put it all over the dang place. You can, you can, you know, anyways, you can check out the website to learn more about it. But it's a great way to get more exposure and more attention. Because we all want attention uh, to, what is, to whatever it is you do. Okay. So it's a great little tip, uh, which I just learned about. All right. And lastly, well, not lastly, maybe almost lastly, is 
what about all the other people in your other networks, your social networks, like your, your Facebook friends, your Twitter, your YouTube, your LinkedIn, your email list, business cards, blogs, you name it, email signature. You may have known this, but when you said, you know, your emails out at the very bottom, you could, you could use that advertising space. Um, you could you could use that too. And, and I'm a big fan, FYI, of uh, taking one piece of content and just leveraging the crap out of it because I am lazy. I am insanely lazy and uh, I'll admit that to get as most as most exposure as you can, okay? Uh, now, one very important point I wanna talk about is uh, just because you mention it doesn't mean people are gonna act on it because people are lazy too, <laughs> okay? Yeah, we're all lazy. And uh, that doesn't mean they're gonna sign up, okay? So it helps to get them excited about them, about it, educate them on how to get the app and follow you, and really just do it step by step, just kind of dummy proofing it. I don't know if that's an insulting term or not. I don't know, but just, uh, but make it step by step so it's very easy. And you can say something like this, you know, uh, so they can't fail. Step one, get the Periscope app, it's free. Uh, step two, open the app and click on the people icon on the far right. Step three, click the magnifying icon on the top left and type in my name and then follow me. And now they'll be able to see more of my, uh, my content, something like that, so whatever. You get the, you get the gif of what I'm trying to say. You just got to break it down. Um, all right. Now the last tip I have for you, uh, as, as you can probably guess, consistency is key uh, to getting more followers, just like in any other social media platform. The more you put into it, the more you'll get out of it, uh, just like a lot of areas in your life, right? There you go. Now, one last nifty trick, if, you, if you're still with me, is to make your videos or your podcast, your content more entertaining. Is there's, a free, there's a free program called Jingle Palette. Have you ever heard of it? I'll include the link down below. But what this can, what this does, as you can imagine, is there's all these free, cool sounds that you can put out there in your videos or podcasts um, to make yourself stand out. And I'm a big believer in the saying that says "differentiate or die." There's actually a marketing book by Jack Trout. And basically, what it means is to be different is a very, very good thing to do. Okay. Um, I just started playing around with it. What's up, Dad? There's this Bugs Bunny, but there's a whole bunch of cool stuff that you can like insert if you want. Completely optional. So I hope you enjoyed this video or podcast. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. I would really appreciate that. Okay, make my day. Um, if you are interested in making money online, um, I uh, just go ahead and click the link below or go to trustthelink.com and you'll discover. Uh, the number one tip, I think, to making money online, and uh, what do you think it is? And do you agree with it? All right. So I wish you the best. Uh, have a very fun and rest, an awesome, productive rest of your day. And uh, bye for now.